Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to give a big old shout out to all the Virgos out there. Very, very happy birthday to you. We are officially in Virgo season as far as Western astrology is concerned. And I want to give a shout out to the September Libras. Yes, very happy birthday to you guys as well. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation please go ahead and email me all the information is in the description box below yeah so for those of you that are new I want to give you a little bit of insight as to these readings on my channel these are not really specific to anything obviously we are doing this by sign but this is not love or career specific okay this is you could think of this as just the the messages that spirit has for you uh, having a conversation or a discussion with spirit about what is going on in your life at this time also keep in mind that just because these are dated for september of 2019 these readings are meant to be timeless yeah so whenever this resonates for you if it's in september if it's after september of 2019 please just take that message if it resonates for you at that time then that's the message for you at this time i i am speaking to the zodiac sign in question here but as a cross watcher you know this could be something that resonates for you as well if you are watching for someone uh, if you're cross watching for someone yeah I would love it if you guys would follow me if you're not already doing so on Instagram you can find me at divine underscore conversations you can also find me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711 if you would like to book a personal reading with me please just email me um, Instagram would be a good uh, other another option you know to to choose um, but Facebook is not a good option. Like I, I even mentioned this in my video last month. Um, I rarely check my Facebook messages. I don't always get them right away also. So if you're trying to get a reading with me, the best bet is to just find my email address in the description box below and email me there. I also have all of the readings that I offer and their prices and descriptions listed in the description box below. So if you would like a reading, please read through that and then email me. Again, Instagram is a good alternative, but that always isn't the most reliable, okay? The, your best bet, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, is to just email me, okay? With that said, I guess we're ready, so let's get to it. <laughs> hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, before I get started, I just want to let you guys know you're probably going to be hearing a lot of noise coming from the street. They are doing construction. Um, they're building a, they tore down a building and now they're in the process of rebuilding in that lot. So um, it's directly across the street. So it's going to get a little bit noisy probably at one point, but we're just going to keep it pushing. Yeah, we're going to get through this. All right, Capricorn. So let's look at your pre-shuffle energies. I was connecting to your energy and um, I do see green for the earth signs, which makes sense. Okay. And so I was channeling, I was in your energy and then I saw a light blue color, which I usually see, which is indicative uh, or what, what, what I usually see when I'm translate when I'm, tr wow, when I'm channeling for air signs. So in this, in, in initially what I felt with that blue flash it was just a flash of blue energy either there's some sort of truth you need to convey there's some sort of con uh, uh, um, you know some sort of communication that you're needing to have wanting to have or you may be receiving or you could be connecting with an air sign okay and then what came out was the sun with the ace of cups so for some of you there could be a situation in which you have some truth to share in terms of Love you may be feeling for somebody. Six, I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands with the Six of Cups. All right, this is a, a soulmate. This could be a soulmate relationship. In some cases, this could be a situation in which, especially with the Six of Swords energy, sorry, I'm putting lotion on my hands while I'm doing this, but <laughs> with the Six of Swords energy here, there, I feel like, I keep hearing unrequited love. So you could be moving away from some sort of unrequited love relationship. Um, you could be getting back on your feet, reconnecting with yourself, regaining your passion for life, your zest for life, getting back to who you are at your core, getting back to who you, to the, 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 the nature of your inner child. 
For others of you, you could be moving away from one relationship that was unrequited in some way and moving towards something new, something better suited for you. And it could be that this unrequited relationship that you're moving away from could have taught you a great deal. Specifically, I'm getting it's in terms of um, self-love, which absolutely, ooh, <coughs> excuse me, which absolutely would lead you to a new relationship eventually that is actually much more loving and much more in alignment with you. Okay, this Ace of Cups could, again, I'll say this, this Ace of Cups could be new love that you may want to express towards someone, or this could be you filling your own cup of love for yourself. Either way, things are really good right now, Capricorn. At least it feels like it for what I'm channeling so far with that sun card that was there, yeah? All right, kids, let me reset... And then we're going to get into the rest of your reading here. Also, I should say that my allergies are acting up. Obviously, you can tell because I just sneezed like that. Ah, Wheel of Fortune, change is coming. Change good things. Good karma is coming into your life right now, Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a Cancerian or maybe another water sign, Pisces or Scorpio. Sun is underneath the deck. But also, this could just be you connecting to empathy, connecting to compassion, getting in touch with your feelings, two of pentacles, keeping things in check, keeping things in balance. All right, Capricorn. So let's get into the rest of this for you and see what we got. And now the moon is on the bottom of the deck. That's cool. All right, <laughs> here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2019. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, Cap, we're giving you five shuffles here. Here we go. One, for your month of September, 2019. Two, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Three, four, And five. All right, Cap. Cappy Cap Capson. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Okay. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. Capricorn, here we go. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you. We're starting you off, yes, with the Ten of Swords. Good golly. This is a good thing, Capricorn. Okay? This is a good thing. Because this means that the worst is behind you. Now... You might still be dealing with a little bit of residuals here. You might still be dealing with a little bit of pain. I'm feeling specifically for some of you, you're still, you're not necessarily dealing with pain, like heartbreak. It's more of just residual thoughts. All right. It's just the residue. It's just the residue. You're past the worst of it. This for some of you absolutely is you coming out of some sort of unrequited love situation. I just heard the healing is over. The mending has ended in some way. For some, that's just for some of you, not for all. In some specific cases, which is, uh, of course, allowing you to lead, lean into more of that Ace of Cups energy that came out in the pre-shuffle. Yes, Capricorn, the world. Oh, my God. You have two cards of completion here, the Ten of Swords and the world. All right. I'm telling you, the worst is behind you. And for some of you, the healing is done already, all right? You're just waiting to step into the new cycle. Beautiful. Underneath the, the world is the Wheel of Fortune. I literally was just about to say, underneath the Wheel of Fortune. But no, underneath the world is that Wheel of Fortune again. Three, okay, I'm sorry. I was going to say three tens. Two tens, which is a number of completion, 
and the world, which is a card of completion. Three cards of completion, Capricorn. Three of them. All right, do you get it? <laughs> the worst is over, all right? Change is coming. There is an element of divine timing here. So yes, some of you are waiting to step into this new cycle, but you're in a phase right now. What I'm feeling is that you're in a phase right now in which um, the cycle is closing out and the universe is aligning the next steps for you, the next phase. Underneath the Wheel of Fortune is the Nine of fucking Pentacles, Capricorn. Hell fucking yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, can you say independence out the wazoo? For some of you, you're coming out of a relationship that was very, very controlling. Maybe you were the controlling element in the relationship. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But um, you're coming out of a, someone is coming out of a relationship that was very controlling. And now you're, you're gaining your independence back. You're gaining yourself back. It may be, and I know this for a fact because I went through this actually. I was in a relationship for nine years. Um, we ended up getting married. We're divorced now. But throughout that relationship, I learned how to be independent. I learned about myself. And when I got out, if I, when I finally got out of that relationship, I stepped into my, my autonomy, my independence, my uh, sovereignty. And that's what I feel like is happening for some of you here, okay? That's beautiful, Cap. Holy moly, that's beautiful. All right. Getting into the rest of your reading here, first half, second half of your reading. First half of the reading, um, oh, well, first half, second half. You can look at this as first half and second half of your month. If it resonates that way, by all means, take it. I recommend you just look at it as first half, second half of the reading because time is an illusion and energies are fluid and the messages are all gonna be flowing together anyway, but take it as it resonates best for you, yes? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Capricorn, you have, okay, you do have the Nine of Swords. This is a this is a residual energy. I do feel like this is past energy. I feel like you are, for some of you, you're, this, is, this energy is behind you and you are in the Ten of Swords right now. You are in the completion. For others of you, there's still a little bit of anxiety going on here. But it could also be because uh, the anxiety that's coming from you facing the uncertainty of what's to come next. For some of you, you're a little bit in that doomsday energy. Holy shit, what's, what, what's good, what the universe is, what is the universe gonna hand me now? It's not gonna be as bad as, it, as the last cycle if you, if you trust, if you like let go of this. Cause this energy is self-fulfilling prophecies, all right? So you don't want it, you, if you don't want to relive or recreate any of the bullshit that you're coming out of, then stop stressing out about it. Stop thinking about it because you're actively pulling it in, okay? Nine of Swords is coupled with the Empress. Aww. I mean, abundance is on your side. You really don't have to worry about this, Capricorn. I know you're very grounded. You're very practical. You would really love to know what's coming forward so that you know how to pre prepare for it. You don't, that's not necessary right now, Cap. You just need to stop stressing, stop worrying about it. Believe in the abundance of the universe. Believe in your own abundance. Believe that the universe has your back and just allow this cycle to come to a close. That's it. And just trust in the universe. Because literally with the Nine of Swords and the Empress, the, em the, 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 the universe is saying, trust us. Stop stressing out about it and just let the abundance work on your behalf. Okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading, Capricorn, you have the Five of Pentacles. Ooh. You know, you guys, for whomever I'm channeling for here, you have some really good stuff coming. What's What was underneath the deck? Right, the Nine of Pentacles. You have some really good stuff coming, but it's like you're in this doomsday energy right now, expecting the worst feeling like you're just gonna get the same shit that you dealt with in the past with this five of pentacles energy this is feeling a lack of worth which 
for whatever, for whomever I'm channeling for right now, this lack of worth energy is really in direct opposition to the phase that you're moving into right now. And it is from the past. You just got to let this energy go. This is not going to help you. Neither is this nine of swords energy. Five of pentacles is coupled with the lovers, Capricorn, Gemini energy. This could be that air sign that I was picking up on. Could be a Gemini. And if you are connecting with this person, this is some sort of divine partnership or very, very strong bond. But it's your lack of self-worth that would hold this back. I mean, your past does not define you, Cap. It doesn't. It never has and it never will. You are allowing other people's opinions of you to knock you down. You are, in fact, worthy of this relationship. You are, in fact, worthy of this balance, of this union within. You don't have to feel like you're less than anymore. Remember, that shit is behind you now. <laughs> okay? And maybe the communication that I was picking up on is you needing to tell yourself this. Declare it for yourself, damn it. Ain't nobody else going to do it for you. You've got to do it for yourself. Trust your instincts. Trust your intuition. Trust who you know you are. And just embody it. Your challenge. In the first half of your reading here, Capricorn, you have the hermit. All right. So here's what's happening. You're coming out of some really nasty stuff from the past. Yes. But in order for you to really move forward and leave the past behind you, you have to do some soul searching. And that's where, and that's why you have this Nine of Swords and this Five of Pentacles energy. This is egoic energy from your past. And in order for you to deal with this, in order to, for you to heal from it and not experience these energies anymore, you have to find the source of them within. So maybe the closing, whatever is closing out for you here is something coming to an end in order for you to now look at things differently so that you can understand how you have been manifesting in this, this in your life or how, why this has shown up in your life or why these things keep happening, why you feel this way, why you think this way, whatnot, whatever. It's giving you an opportunity to see it for what it is so that you can really close out the cycle for yourself. Okay. That's beautiful. The hermit is coupled with the knight of pentacles. Yes, Capricorn. Now this could be you, but it also could be a Virgo or a Taurus. But uh, specifically, I do see the knights and the pages as the mutable energy. So that would be Virgo, but it could be you. I do kind of feel like this is you, but it's you slowly but surely taking taking it day by day, taking it step by step, which is not something that I really feel you are a stranger to, Capricorn, okay? Even though you're a cardinal energy. You, of all of the cardinal energies, are the most grounded and the most methodical because of your Earth status. So this is not anything strange or new to you. What you need to be willing to do is to dive within and start facing some things. Because I do feel like for whomever I'm channeling for, you have a tendency to block out your feelings. You have a tendency to become overly practical, which, uh, which influences you to dismiss the spiritual, energetic, emotional side of your being. Well, that's not going to help you here. Okay? Also, the hermit is Virgo. So this could be, you could have Virgo in your chart, you could be connecting with a Virgo if that's what's resonating for you. But also when I'm recording this, we are in Virgo season. I feel like Virgo season is going to help you a lot. It's going to really give you a boost of energy to get through this stuff. It's going to give you the framework. It's going to give you the energetic, fr um, um, the energetic, uh, I guess, playing field the energetic space, whatever, to really think 
analyze get to the bottom of this, see things as they truly are so that you can fix them, so that you can really close this cycle out, yes? Closing message or potential outcome for you in the first half of your reading here, Capricorn, you have the Four of Cups. The universe is handing you an opportunity, Capricorn. It is your responsibility to take it. It is your responsibility to take the cup that the universe is handing you to bring you greater emotional balance okay St uh, uh, yes balance also the word i want to use is stability because that is what four represents it re represents stability okay which in turn would indicate balance because it's stable so it means things are balanced right okay <laughs> four of cups is coupled with the five of cups but you have to face your emotions capricorn There are some things that are coming forward for you, Capricorn, that I feel like some of you are choosing to ignore, which is why you have this Nine of Swords energy, which is then leading you to feelings of doubt and insecurity with the Five of Pentacles. You have to take this cup. Now, I understand why you don't want to take it, because taking this cup, accepting this offer that the universe is handing to you with the Ace of Cups that came out in the beginning of your reading, right? It's going to catalyze some sort of realization and some sort of understanding, which is going to lead to the toppling, spilling over of these three cups here. But it's going to leave you with balance, the two of cups. All is not lost. For some of you, yes, you are in fact coming out of an unrequited love situation, which is what the Four of Cups would represent, and now you're needing to deal with the emotions. Do not hide from your feelings, Capricorn. Do not immerse yourself into some sort of work or some sort of activity or substances to numb the pain. You have to feel it if you don't want to experience this stuff again. The universe is handing you a golden opportunity to close out these cycles. But for in order for you to do that, Cap, you have got to face your emotions, okay? You've got to feel through it. Feel through it with intentions of healing it. Feel through it with intentions of understanding it at a greater level. You don't have to get it completely, but understand it a little bit more so that you can heal, okay? Getting into the second set of uh, the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you have the Eight of Wands, communication. This could be communicating with yourself. This could be understanding what's going on in your mind, facing it so that you can understand it and 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 work through it. This also could be some sort of communication between you and someone else. Maybe the person that you're that you are leaving behind, the relationship that you're leaving be, leaving behind. This could be a breakup energy. This could be you communicating desires to move forward and move in a different direction. This also could be somebody communicating with a new love interest. Okay. Eight of Wands is coupled with the Queen of Swords. Yes, indeed. So for the most part, some of you are really communicating in ways to cut some things out. And this could be you communicating with yourself saying, okay, I see that for what it is. Now it's time to let it go and remove it from my path because it's in my way. Was it Capricorn? No, it was the Sagittarius reading, I believe, in which I was seeing an image of somebody just clearing away the bush, the overgrowth, the vines that keep you from moving forward in your path. And I'm seeing a similar energy here for you, Capricorn. Okay, second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here you have, good golly, right underneath the lovers you have the two of cups. This is divine union, which starts within and then eventually is realized in the external, right? But these are the two of cups that are right here in that five of cups that are still standing. Clear and honest communication also with this Queen of Swords and Eight of Wands energy, potentially with someone new, with a new partner, with a new mate. Two of Cups is coupled with... What the hell did I just say? Ace of Swords. 
clear and honest communication. And I do feel like for some of you, this is communication with a new person. Something that you're really in line, aligned with, someone that you're really in love with, someone that you're really in tune with. This is getting down to the bottom of the situation here. It could be a Libra. This is also there. Maybe there's more of that energy, that air energy that I was seeing. Could be Libra, could be Aquarius, could be Gemini. We have Libra and Gemini here in the Lovers and Queen of Swords. It could also be an Earth sign, but you, we are talking to you. We are talking to the Earth sign right now in Capricorn. Wow. This also could be, like I said, this could be communication with someone from your past that you had an unrequited love situation with. But whatever that communication would be, I feel like it's communication to bring the situation to a close. Like the, the final goodbye. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Capricorn, the Hierophant. Taurus energy. Maybe the challenge here is, is um, communicating what you've learned. I feel like this is also understanding what you've learned because the Hierophant is about teaching and learning or can be about teaching and learning. I really feel like the Hierophant energy here is, is either integrating what it is that you learned in this situation or acting on what it is you've learned. I'm, I, I'm hearing taking action from a place of foundation. The Hierophant is coupled with, ah, the hanged man, Pisces. Very interesting. So this is about what you have learned, okay? But this is about seeing life from a different perspective outside of some sort of conventionalism. I really feel like your challenge here is to step outside of the box, Capricorn, which, yes, you are a cardinal sign, so it's not going to be that hard for you to do, but also you're an earth sign. And earth signs can be a little rigid. I mean, it's the earth. I mean, we get it. No judgment here. So I do feel like it might be a little bit of a challenge for you. There is definitely some sort of conventionalism that you're needing to release yourself from in order to grow and really be successful, in order to really close out this cycle. It could be some sort of conventionalism that has been keeping you in this cycle to begin with. And now you're being challenged to see things from a different point of view. Which, again, like I said, shouldn't be too hard for you because you are a cardinal sign, but at the same time, you're still an earth sign. So that is still going to be somewhat of a challenge. Okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Capricorn, in the last half, second half of your reading, you got seven of wands. You have to stand your ground. And you need to defend yourself. You need to not allow anyone to, to, to sway you into slipping back into the old way of doing things especially once you've reached this change of, change of point of view, change of alignment, this um, change in perspective, perspective. Once you finally get into that, do not allow anyone to sway you from it. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is coupled with the Ace of Wands. Why? Because you have an inspired new idea that you need to follow through with because it will serve you in many ways. Many, many ways. All right, Cap, That's this is great. This is a great, this is a really good reading. For the most part, I feel like you are preparing to enter into a new cycle, but you're needing to do this work to tie up the loose ends so that the old shit doesn't come roaring back into your life. Okay? Beautiful. Let's get your oracle guidance. Form a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September. Last shuffle here. Here we go. Best messages, please, Spirit. 
to close out this reading for my Capricorns for this for the month of September 2019. Wow. Card number 25, release the dark wound, let love live. Beautiful. Ooh. I was going to say, wow, that's a long one. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Here we go. If we detach something from its source too soon, trying to force it to become what, is not, what it is not yet ready or willing to become, we can unintentionally sap it of its strength and kill it. There is a dark wound in the consciousness of humanity which demands perfection and denies process. If you are thinking of publishers before you have even written the book, if you are comparing your unfinished song idea to the latest best-selling pop release, if you have decided you are not good enough or worthy enough to succeed before you've even given it everything you've got and asked for divine help, then this dark wound has you in its grasp. You have to let go of the death grip of perfectionism and let yourself and your ideas live. And that's really, that perfectionism aspect is really poignant right now because we are in none other than Virgo season and Virgo is a sign of perfection in a sense. Virgos can be very perfectionistic. That can be a downfall of their energy. And here you're being asked to let go of perfectionism. Especially for you Capricorn, I'm feeling specifically, it's almost as if you feel like you have an image to keep up. It's almost an energy of like, I, this type of shit doesn't happen to me. Well, guess what, Cap? You're human, all right? So <laughs> you're not exempt from it, but also it doesn't make you a bad person and it doesn't make you any less. You're a human. You have your own challenges and struggles. You need to allow yourself that liberty, okay? Love is abundant, creative, and inspiring. It moves us so much more joyously and creatively than fear. You are being asked to honor the path of your own love. What inspires you? What feels exciting, joyful, and perhaps even rather different? Let that live. Release the dark wounding of false belief. There are countless stories of vastly successful artists who very nearly binned the project that was ma the making of their career because of the despair fostered by their own dark nature. They doubted. They were uncertain. Was their work any good? Was it useless? They struggled to believe in the right of a work to come to life whether it was accepted, revered, or rejected by others or not. They nearly lost their work to fear. Undoubtedly, there have been many times when this has actually happened and the work was not saved, not allowed to live. Do not let this happen to you. Whether something is meant to be a commercially oriented venture or a more personal creation of your own therapeutic healing, it must be allowed to be without judgment, without criticism, even without premature evaluation. It must be allowed to be what it is and only time, love, patience and attention will reveal it if you have no nope, wait 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 okay yeah we're gonna stop there so there you have it capricorn hopefully i hope that was helpful for you thank you so much for tuning in um, again if you'd like a look into your own personal situation please don't hesitate to email me all the information is in the description box below but with that I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.